Are you ready to learn some great new things? Because it's time to leap into science. Hello everyone. What are we looking at this time? Plants and animals help each other. Well, that's a great way to start. I'm sure there are many ways that they help each other. What shall we look at? Animals need plants. Hmm, yes. And plants need animals. We've got beautiful flowers and wonderful insects here. They're helping each other. Environment. Very, very important. In an environment, everything is important. The plants help the animals. The animals help the plants. Lots of animals eat plants, but that doesn't usually help the plant. Mm. So it certainly helps the animal but not the plant. We are only going to talk about helping. Just like mum helps you with your homework. It's all about helping today. Let's start with plants helping animals. Can you think how is that big tree helping this big cat? Hmm. Well, lots of animals shelter in plants. So that big cat was sheltering in the tree. It was staying safe. And we can say the same thing about the ladybug here. It's finding safe shelter under the flower or maybe under the leaf. Raccoons live in holes in trees. It gives them safe shelter. Caterpillars make their cocoons under leaves or branches. What's the lion doing? Lions hide in long grass before they try to catch a zebra. So are they finding shelter here? Hmm, I'm not sure. They're using the grass to hide. So it's not really a place to live, but it certainly helps them. Many insects lay their eggs on leaves. The insects use a special type of glue to put their eggs onto the bottom of the leaves. That's a happy plant. None of these things hurt the plant. It would be a bad idea for the animals to hurt the plants because the animals need the plants. So, how can animals help the plants? Hmm. Well, we've got one very important animal there, haven't we? Bees. Flying insects like bees and butterflies help to move pollen from one plant to another. That's very important. This is super important in helping plants 
to make new seeds. And actually, without the flying insects, there would be very little fruit in the world. Most fruit that we love to eat only grows because flying insects help to move the pollen. There are many ways that animals can transport seeds for plants as well. Squirrels, chipmunks, they will collect the nuts. They will eat some of them, but they don't eat all of them. Sometimes the squirrel will put the nut in the ground and then forget where it is. That will help the plant to grow. They can eat the fruit and poo out the seeds. So birds will help to carry the seeds far away and put them in many different places. Every time they do a poo, some more seeds are taken to different places. Poo! Lots of poo! We think it's really yucky, but actually it's really important. Poo puts really great nutrients back into the soil and makes plants happy and strong. Poo is good. What a lovely environment we have there. Air. This is the most important way that plants and animals help each other. Hmm, air. We know it's important, but how can we help each other? Plants take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen. They are both important gases in the air. So, this is a bit difficult, but let's say it again. Plants take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen. What about the animals? Now, this is great because animals take in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide. So the plants and the animals do the opposite thing. Hmm, oh dear, no plants. We don't want that. If there are no plants, there would be no animals. Hmm, that's very sad. Oh dear, we don't want this either. If there are no animals, there would be no plants. Both of those are bad. We really do need to start protecting our environment. Everything in the environment is important to other things. Let's take care of our beautiful earth. See you soon guys. Bye. Thank you for watching our video today. Please don't forget subscribe and that will help us to make lots more videos for you. Thank you. Bye.